situations. Well, Aaron Boone does address it amongst other topics. Let's get to the manager's report now brought to you by Geico. Aaron, tough night for Tyone. What were you seeing out there tonight from him? Uh, well, that first inning, you know, he gets Margot to hit the blooper and then and then Lau, you know, stung one pretty good. And then first pitch, he hung a breaking ball to Diaz. So it was a big, you know, two out, two run single on a on a hanging first pitch breaking ball. Um, and then obviously the two run homer where it looked like he pulled the change up a little bit more down and in. Um, other than that, I thought he had some pockets where he settled in through the ball well. Um, but, you know, just got dinged up there and then, you know, couple of long innings there where you know got his pitch count up a little bit but I, I didn't think far off just a couple of mistakes obviously with some runners on that that hurt him rich hill doesn't look to have overpowering stuff why do you think he did such a good job uh keeping the offense at bay tonight well he very speeds and his fastball plays up a lot more than than the number would suggest you know and you know kind of changing arm angles changing speeds on the breaking ball i saw one down in the 60s you know, 70s, 80s, he'll cut the ball in a little bit. Um, and then, you know, with kind of his delivery, there's some deception there that um, especially after he, you know, does all that soft stuff and whatever and, and some deception in his delivery, his four seam plays up a little bit and he kept us off balance all night and we just weren't able to mount enough against him. It seemed like you had a little something going in that sixth inning before Mike Ford hit into the double play to end it. Was there any consideration to using Luke Voigt there? Was he available off the bench? He was, but a little more kind of late in the game. It was, you know, more of a down day, real high leverage spot late in the game that I might have considered it, but uh, didn't want to do it that early with him. Gotcha. Can you go next to Ken Davidoff? Aaron, uh, just to clarify on that with, with Luke, you, you mean you just didn't want to stay in the game for space for that many innings after Yeah, batting? I mean, today was a design down day for him. You know, that said, I would have used him as, you know, a bullet off the bench or, you know, and if he would have had to stay in for a couple innings, so be it. But, uh, you know, not, not a four-inning situation there. Okay, and uh, obviously you, know, you won your four prior games of this, uh, larger to remind your, your pitching. What are you seeing with, with the offense in general? Um, you know, just kind of not everyone clicking at the same time. Um, you know, I feel like there are some guys that are, you know, starting to have, not starting, we've been having more quality at bats up and down, but, you know, a few guys that are that are still scuffling to get really get it going. So, you know, as an offense, you know, we're usually really strong when everyone's kind of grinding you down a little bit. And, you know, a few guys still working hard to get clicking. And, uh, you know, this is always a tough place to score runs. Obviously, that's a team that's, you know, very good at the run prevention game. So um, hopefully we can we can start picking it up tomorrow.